Welcome back you tours. In this episode we're going to place a uh, 3D model through a component and we're going to explore the settings and how to adjust and all that good stuff. So let's dive in. Okay so we are on this window so let's see how we get to this window. We're going to close everything out and this particular case I made the logo this 3D model and there will be another video for that but to do text on KiCut and this particular instance we're going to look at how we use that model when I export it from FreeCAD I export it as a step file and then uh, we bring it in here and we use it so let's look at the schematic of this so this is it so basically it's just this that's the placement in the schematic and so basically we will file file create new project in this particular case I already created a project so you create a project and then what I did was I placed a symbol so actually to make this thing uh, let me show you so I went into the symbol editor so in the, the symbol editor I made the symbol and this particular case I made a library and my library it's called EE now connectors so I have that library there and I have these parts here either ones that I'm modifying or ones that I'm making so as you can see here <clears throat> it's just one so it's just one pin right you drop the pin and the pin I call it the pin name is EE now and the pin number is E now this have to match when you assign the the footprint the uh, pin number has to match in my case I name it EE now and yours you could name whatever you want it one you know put a name and number but this this field here has to match when you go into the the footprint part of it so nothing fancy the electrical type is passive and it's just one pen and that's it and I put it in this library to create a library you will file a new library and give it a specific name make sure you use something that it's not going to conflict with other things in my case I usually try to keep it I keep it you see like I call my we call the channel name EE now underscore connectors so it doesn't conflict with the connectors connectors library they have here I kind of follow the what the DGK did you see the name D, DK DGK underscore and they have the part so that's what I'm following and it's working out pretty good because of that way I don't get confused and I don't interfere with any other libraries that are here or if I'm bringing sometimes I'm, I do mix match I bring components from SysMac and all the other stuff and um, bringing components from other places third party libraries I have a video on that you you should see it in in a, in a tooltip in, in the top of the video it will give you a link to that so if you want to click into that and take a look at that it will be there I'll put tooltip you'll see it on the video on the top all right so so that's all it is in in this part so I have the pin I name it as XA connector as an assembly and that's it save it and then um, here under the library symbol properties you see it's footprint EE now connectors EE now logo 
So that's my footprint. So it's attached to that. But now let's go to the footprint editor. And there, same thing. I have a library called EE connectors. And that's my logo right there. I have only a path. So let's look at the path properties. Under the path properties, you see properties. So it's just here. The path number, you see, it matches like the symbol. So if you have a one over there, this has to be a one here or two or whatever or a name it has to match that so otherwise when you bring it in it will give you an error and i discovered that during uh importing of a um importing of the arduino uno and arduino now so there will be some tooltip on the top of the video if you want to watch that i have that there and also so that's it for this part and then it matches that and then i have the sill screen this sill screen i will have made another video about that this is a custom actually maybe i can cover this because it's, i use this uh, tool here bitmap to convert to bitmap convert to component converter i use this tool here I bring the picture here and I, I try some things and I was able to bring it to my as a silk screen. But I'll make another video about that, but so let's concentrate on this one. So <clears throat> once this was done, then over here you got footprint footprint properties, you click on that, and then then you bring the the step file. Once you get in the step file, in my case, I have logo underscore e now 40 millimeters by 12 millimeters that step. So I put it in under this part of it, uh, Sysmac, because that's a common place where I put all my 3D, and that way I don't I keep separate so I don't get confused. So now once I have here, you can uh, do the rotation usually it doesn't come the, the way you want it to look so if i do x see so i do a y that's y maybe i do like that so now that's going to take effect so now here you can move this around so it's touching the board it's just it it doesn't have to be this but because i wanted to have a um my logo the logo of e now and so this is the silk screen part of it and this was the 3d part of it uh it was easier to just to put the letters instead of the hands it will take a lot of time to do that and and um free cut so i just put the letters i just wanted to experiment to see if i can actually bring that in here and work with it and i was able to do that then then i say okay and now that's how you bring it and then you say save and now once you have all that set up then you go to your schematic and you just drop it in. So I have EE now, the library EE now here. Where do you go? It's sort of a very coder. The EE now connectors. Got my logo here. So I say OK. Drop it in. That will give me two. So let's do it anyway. Annotate close and let's generate a netlist 
save over here bring the net list yes close and let's put this one in the back so to do the you can do a right click and flip and move it or let's see okay so we don't need this one now save it we have our thing here the move rotate okay let's put it to the front so you right, right click flip that will bring it to the front move rotate rotate flip that will bring it to the back of the board rotate move that so now we should see save it view viewer now we should see that logo there and this one didn't update because I, I didn't do the update of the library so if we go in the back this should be in a 45 right it's the we I made that change to 45 degrees so now it looks like that right and the other one doesn't so I update you go here properties and you click update footprint from library gives you this window say update close and that should take the effect view now we're looking at the front see it's 45 that's how we did it as a team effort here okay and and that's how you assign a footprint you you bring it in you adjust it if you need adjustments and as far as angles and offsets and all that stuff that's in the uh, let's say here let's say i want to modify it just locally you go e or e edit footprint This edit footprint, it's not in the library, it's just local properties. So now let's say um, I move the angle Y, make it like that, and then the Z, let move a little bit, Y, Z. So all this, the scale, we're going to keep it one, and then say OK. Save it and view it. Okay. There you go. Let's see you move. So now it's anchored like that. But the other one should be fine on the back because we made the change not global, it was, it was a local change. See? And the other end didn't change. So that's you gotta know where you're changing. You know, when I need something global, I change it at the library level. When I need local, I just use the other option. So you gotta know where where you are. E. So you see, change footprint. <clears throat> it will change locally uh and then uh edit library footprint this will do at the library level this edit footprint it will do it just locally when you're using it right there it won't take effect at the library so when you actually know what you're doing and you want to change globally you do at the library level but if you just want to tweak something to see what happened you can do it locally and then uh, see what if it's good works for you then you move it to 
the low, global level or just don't do it at all because sometimes <clears throat> when you make changes you know uh, you, you have to live with the consequences so it's better sometimes to make tweaks in locally and at the library level do with supervision or take your own risk always make a copy of what you're doing so that you have you have a uh, backup so that's it for today thank you for watching like and subscribe like and subscribe